hello guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing i make a lot of videos around options and press that bell icon so you know when my new videos are coming okay let's start with uh, today's topic which is uh, delta right so delta is a very important greek that uh, we have in options world and today we are gonna discuss in complete detail agenda for today would be uh, we will first say, discuss uh, what is delta then we will check why actually you need delta or what is the actual use of delta in terms of uh, in relation to the options trading and then we will uh, side by side we are gonna take some examples and then the last uh, we will just uh, review what we discussed as a key takeaways what is delta right so delta is the rate of change of an options price given a dollar move in the underlying price underlying could be a stock or an etf or anything right what it means is as the stock moves by a dollar your option premium right how much that option premium is gonna move is decided by your delta value so to take an example if the delta has changed let's say 0.2 right uh, the delta increased by 0.2 your option premium would also increase by 0.2 if the delta decreases by 0.2 your option premium is gonna decrease by 0.2 right so this is in nutshell this is what delta is we're gonna take an example later and uh, discuss with an stock and how and see how based on the price it moves right so it will become more clear let's look at uh, why do we need delta or what is it that delta actually decide in overall options uh, trading right so there are four things that is decided by delta or why we use delta right the first is the price action which we uh, saw in the definition right delta decides the options premium price number two it decides the directional exposure right so based on the delta it decides uh, which direction based on the looking at the delta you can actually see whether uh, your sentiment is bullish bearish or neutral right so delta plays a role there the third is uh, probability so delta indicates your probability of that option getting expired in the money or worthless right so based on looking at the delta you can see what are your chances of this option getting expired worthless or getting in the money and the final is hedging right uh, delta is uh, a role to play in hedging so if you want to you as you know that options are a good way to hedge your positions your stock positions and uh, by using delta you can decide your hedging percentage okay like how much you want to hedge you want to go all out and do 100 percent hedging or you want to do 60 percent hedging that that uh, parameter is uh, you can decide by uh, using delta so we are going to discuss uh, all these points one by one in a little bit more detail with uh, uh, quick examples so it will become more clear the first is price action right so let's take an example of uh, apple okay so let's assume that the current stock price is at uh, 180 dollar let's assume that the option premium for a uh, out the money strike price uh, is uh, 0.50 okay which is 50 dollars and for this uh, option contract the delta is uh, right now is 0 0.20 okay so this is the setup now let's uh, take two examples of how delta plays a role here okay so let's say that apple price moves by one dollar to 181 okay so you remember the definition what we had the delta decides the option premium price for uh, every dollar move in the stock price okay so now your uh, stock has moved by one dollar so how much your premium would be so your option premium is gonna be 0 0.50 plus 0 0.20 that is your delta right so that new premium would be 0 0.70 so this is what uh, is decided by the delta okay so 0 0.70 means for 100 a stock as you know for the option contract it would be 70 right now let's take another example on a decreasing scenario right so let's assume that apple price decreases by a dollar to 179 okay so now your what would be your option price you should be able to guess now right so the option premium would be 
0 0.50 minus 0 0.20 which is 0 0.30 or 30 dollars moving on to directional exposure right so this is the second thing uh, why people use delta so you will see two types of delta positive delta and a negative delta so you could see a delta which is represented in a positive terms like like we saw like 0.5 right or you could see a negative delta like minus something okay so positive delta indicates uh, that you are actually the directional uh, exposure is bullish okay or the sentiment is bullish negative delta is for the bearish sentiment but let's say you are a call buyer right so when you buy a call you want the market to move up and because your sentiments are bullish you will see that as a call buyer you will have a positive delta okay now if you are a put buyer you expect the market to move down so your delta would be negative okay a similar way uh, exactly opposite right if you sell a call you want the market to be kind of a bearish to neutral so your delta would be negative if you're selling a put you expect the market from bullish to neutral so your delta will would be positive so all these things you can uh, actually see by looking at the delta let's quickly check this in our apple options chain as well right so this is an option chain for apple okay if i look at uh, let's say i'm looking at uh, 195 call right this is a buy call and if i'm looking at 195 call so if you are a call buyer remember your delta is if you look at 0.27 which is positive okay but if you sell a call that means you are becoming a bearish right bearish to neutral delta becomes negative as you see right as a put buyer your delta would be negative right and as a put seller your delta would be positive so that is what uh, the delta by looking at delta you can see the directional exposure of that option now moving on to the probability right so delta represents the probability of option being in the money or expire worthless okay let's take an example so let's say you are a call buyer okay and you have a 0 0.60 delta what this means is you have 60 percent chance of that option being in the money at the expiry on or before expiry right so that's what the delta probability means let's break it down in all the four use cases that we have right so as a call buyer your goal is to get option being in the money by expiry right that's your goal and therefore a higher delta is good as a call buyer so as a call buyer you would want that option contract to be in the money and that's why a higher delta is good that means you have a more chance for that option contract being in the money by the way guys if you have liked the video please consider subscribing that means a lot and that motivates me to make more videos now going back to the topic as a put buyer the same thing because you want your options to be in the money you want the uh, the more the delta the more your chances of that option being expired in the money and you will be profitable in that case right now in case of uh, a seller if you are a seller of the option contract then it's the exactly opposite you want the delta value to be lower because you want the ex options to expire worthless right your goal is to get option not in the money and expire worthless and that's why you want a lower delta same thing with a put seller if you are a put seller the delta value would be you want the delta value to be lower as a put seller because your goal is that option getting expired worthless example as apple right so if i am if i am a call buyer if i say buy a call right uh, the more closer to the money you are your delta would be higher and, and your chances also would be higher like if you see here the delta is uh, 0.51 right so that means you have a 50 percent chance that this uh, option will expire in the money that means as the prices move you become profitable right and as you go further let's say you go to 220 right so you are kind of uh, expecting the apple to move 220 now what are your chances your chances are 0 0.01 that means you have one percent chance that this uh, option would expire in the money that means you're gonna lose the complete premium here almost certain as a seller on the other hand uh, your you want the delta to be lower right because uh, if you are selling an option for let's say 
uh, $200, right? You're selling the option here. Your delta is uh, 0.12. That means there is a 12% chance that this option would expire in the money. As a seller of this option, your goal is to collect the complete premium of this $48 and you want this options to expire worthless. So the lower the delta is better for as an option seller. The final is hedging, right? So options, as you know, that options can be used to hedge your position and delta can decide how much hedging you would want, right? So delta, by using delta, you can decide that. So let's take an example of the same Apple, right? Consider you are owning uh, Apple, 100 shares of Apple and uh, you have a good amount of profit there. Uh, but there is, uh, let's say, some earnings or some events is coming and uh, you are expecting that uh, you're a bit nervous that Apple may go down, right? And you want to hedge your position. So in that case, you can use uh, option using a covered call, right? You can uh, sell a covered call, okay? Let's say uh, you sell one out of the money covered call with 30 Delta, okay? So you have, uh, if you just own the stock, right? You have one to one uh, ratio, right? So for a $1 move, uh, your uh, you are get either um, being profitable by hundred dollar or if it moves one dollar lower you are gonna uh, lose hundred dollar right so how do how do you reduce that uh, hundred dollar loss is what you can decide using delta so if you sell uh, one out of the money call with 30 delta that means you are partially hedging your position that means uh, you are basically uh, reducing your exposure by 70 percent let's see that uh, in an example right so this is the scenario, right? So if the Apple uh, goes down by $1, right? As a stockholder, you're gonna lose the full $100 because uh, a stock is a plain and simple, right? It's one to one ratio. Now, if you sell a covered call by holding that same stock, uh, you are gonna get a premium for uh, selling that uh, um, call, right? And if you sell a $30 Delta, that means you're reducing your exposure by uh, 70%. So your loss could be uh, only 70 because uh, you are offsetting that uh, $100 loss. You are still going to have $100 loss in the stock, but you are offsetting that with the premium that you are going to receive, right? So your uh, effective loss would be only $70. So this is a partial hedge, but you can hedge more. If you go, let's say you sell a call with a Delta 50, what it, what it would mean is uh, you're gonna hedge by 50%. There are downside obviously to the covered call, which uh, I, I'm not going to discuss in complete detail in this video, otherwise uh, it will become really long. So I have a separate uh, video, I'll just link it down in the description. You can go and check it out. There are pros and cons on uh, selling covered call uh, so basically you're gonna you have to if the apple decides to move uh, very high right uh, you're gonna you will have to lose your uh, stock at that strike price that is the downside of the covered call okay let's uh, quickly recap what we discussed right so the first point we discussed is the delta definition right so delta is the rate of change of an options price given a dollar move in the underlying price okay so for a one dollar move uh, either if it's a uh, upside then your premium is gonna positively impacted if it goes down your premium is gonna negatively impacted okay uh, second is uh, delta signify the directional exposure like we saw right if you are a if you are a call buyer then your delta is gonna be positive because you expect the market to move up right uh, vice versa if you are a call seller you expect uh, you will see a negative delta because you want the market to move, go down okay third what we saw is delta indicates the probability of an option expiring in the money or worthless so by looking at the delta you can see what are your chances or what is your probability of that option uh, being expired worthless or being in the money the final thing we saw is the hedging so delta helps uh, in hedging our stock position uh, if you have a good uh, amount of profit and you expect uh, some event to kind of uh, impact your stock you can use uh, uh, covered call strategy to hedge your uh, stock position okay guys so that was all about delta if you like the video please uh, do like subscribe uh, and press the bell icon if you have any questions please put them down in the comment i look look at all the comments and i will try to respond happy investing guys and i'll talk to you in my next video